want you to do that little uh, tablature thing is just basically a place to find the melody notes under your fingers. And we want to actually play that melody instead of straight, we want to play it in a kind of a shuffle feel, which is shuffle is two triplets tied together making a longer note, and then the third triplet is by itself. So it's da, 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 and that is the rhythm of this song. for that second half now, but you're just going to work on filling in that first uh, phrase of that song, and you would use, you know, if you're playing, if the melody is the D and you're playing in over the D chord, well then you would fill in maybe with the F sharp, which is the third, or the A, which is the fifth. You would fill in. So even on that first little lick, instead of, instead of, and having that empty spot here, I'm in, the, this is the key of G, the chord of G I'm in right now, so I could go, and I'm adding that little note in here. This, again, is what a banjo player needs to understand when they start figuring out their own banjo solos for songs. The melody, you fill when you can, you take those banjo notes, keep them rolling, right? We don't have to do that on this, because we've got a nice sustain and slide, but if we know how to do it, we can definitely use it. So we can go. you're up here, if you were up here, you might want to use the slide on the third string from seven to four instead of, okay. instead of that one. And then remember, so there's that long note, right? And then it goes to a D chord. Well, we're doing Worried Man. When we went to a D chord in Worried Man, we went. And we could do that. To fill that space, we would take six notes. So we go. Alright. Okay. Get the idea? Yep. Then you can't see my face. <laughs>